Aloha! Now that you've drawn your pumpkin, it's time to add color. So there's some 3D value techniques on this video that will help you. I used crayon, so that's perfect for you to use. Here's my example, okay, and I'll show you step by step how to create this. I also did one in marker, and it's much more simplified version, does not look as 3D, but just as fun if you're one of those who needs to work up to the 3D value used with crayon. I want you to have a lot of fun with this. Enjoy it, take your time, do a wonderful job, and don't forget your craftsmanship and coloring. Aloha! This is how you add value to make your pumpkin look 3D using crayons. This is the same technique as I taught with the pastels. I will start with three analogous colors, or colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, plus brown for the effect that I would like. I choose my lightest color first and color it towards the middle to upper part of the lobe of my pumpkin where the highlight would most likely show up. Because this is crayon and not pastel, I really do need to color exactly as I want it to look. I can overlap with my other colors for a blended effect but definitely want to color each color the way I'd like. Outlining does help prevent me from going over my spaces since I'm working one lobe at a time. Your choice whether you want to use this technique. Once you're done with the first lobe, continue the same technique on the other lobes until you're done and then you can work on the background. Now that I'm done, it's time to add a 3D effect along the bottom of my pumpkin to make it look more rounded. Black's kind of dark, brown could work as well, but I like the violet. I think it gives a unique look. Make sure you go around and follow the edges of your lobes along the bottom and then add some extra shadowing in between. Be careful to use a light touch at first. You can always go darker later. For my grass, I'm choosing to use three different greens. I'm gonna start by coloring some of my blades of grass that I drew in. I can use one color for that. Now I'm using my second darker color to fill in the spaces in between. I am making sure to go in between my blades of grass instead of coloring directly over them. This is good craftsmanship in your coloring, taking care to treat each space separately. I can overlap with this third color to give it an interesting effect. This is actually my lightest color and you'll see how blending the two colors changes the effect of the first color. Now that I'm done with my grass, it's time to finish my picture. I've decided that my pumpkin is sitting up next to a red barn. So I'm going to fill in the space with red and similar colors to give it an effect of the red barn. You see, we don't always have to use blue for sky. There are other things that show up in the background of our artwork. Get creative when it comes to what's in your background. Now that I'm done coloring my barn, it's time to add the cast shadow that the pumpkin would cast onto the side of the barn. I'm using brown for this. You could also use violet or even black with a very light hand to start with. Remember, you can always go darker. And there you go, all done.
Aloha!